Woo hoo woo 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 yeah guys that was that that was my reaction this morning I was so excited when I tuned into the the big derby between Borussia Dortmund and Schalke man in a match where Dortmund spanked Schalke four goals to nil. I actually wasn't surprised by the result because Dortmund looked the, you know, the, the better of the two teams on the day. They looked like the team that was like picking up where they left off. While Schalke also looks like they picked up where they left off because they weren't doing good before the break. But Dortmund, despite their loss in the second leg of the Champions League round of 16 to PSG, they were doing really, really well in the Bundesliga. So they still get things running with a 4-0 thrashing of Schalke. They're very, 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 very noisy neighbors. This was a big game. This was a huge game. And Dortmund, if they are to challenge for the title this season, if they are to dethrone Bayern Munich, like finally, after so many seasons, they have to continue playing like this. They were on point. They started a bit sketchy. As we all should expect because these guys are coming off of a two-month break. And it wasn't the summer break at the end of the season. It was a mid, like, let's say, match day 25. 11 match days to go. Well, 30, well, let's say nine match days to go. Nine. And the coronavirus just came in and just stopped the football. So, big win. Big win for Lucien Favre and his boys here. I actually took down notes for this game but guys you know the situation i'm in right now i have my son in the back there he's sleeping you see his tablet set up there for to for him to watch i just dropped my wife to work i just came off of work i watch the games on the job so i don't really have a lot of time these days to just sit down and just break things down the way i used to tomorrow however i can do that i want to do everything in a live stream but I'm so excited today, man. I'm so excited today that football is back and I got to see Borussia Dortmund thrash Schalke. So the first goal was scored by Erling Haaland. Of course, of course, it was a Norwegian prodigy who scored in the 29th minute. And that was his 10th goal since he moved there in January of 2020. I can't remember the exact details of all the goals, but it was a very, very cheeky goal. I think it was set up by, it was set up by Togan Hazard, if I'm not mistaken. A flick on by Brandt and Hazard to with with the with the square ball to Haaland for the tap in. The second goal was scored by Rafa Guerrero in the 45th minute. That was a really, really nice goal as well. That was set up by, I think that was set up by Brandt, if I'm not mistaken. And then Hazard with the goal set up by Brandt. Definitely by Brandt. Haaland was fouled in the build-up. It was a, a, a goal on the, the counter. They were on the break and they caught Schalke sleeping once again. And Brandt just passed it nicely to Hazard, who smashed it past Schubert, who was in goal. Fourth goal was scored by Rafa Guerrero. Really, really nice link-up play between himself and Erling Haaland. And Rafa Guerrero with a cheeky, cheeky left for the shot. It was, you know, in his path for him to hit it with his right. But he just used the left, like the outside of the left foot, and bend it past Schubert. That was really, really cheeky. It was very, very exciting to, 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 to watch this match. And I don't usually watch the Bundesliga. I'm a Premier League fan. But any football will do right about now. So, thank you very much to the Bundesliga. How do you say thank you in German? Danke. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Danke, danke, danke. Danke. I'm excited, man. I'm excited. We have football back. But David Wagner and Schalke, they have a lot of work to do. Weston McKinney, the American, he was one of the best players on the day for Schalke. Playing a defensive midfield role. He, he had a lot to do. Salif Sane. Back from a long-term injury. He made a few mistakes here and there, but he looks solid, you know what I'm saying? But all in all, Schalke has a lot of work to do. The young American Giovanni Reina was supposed to start this game, but he pulled up during training. I guess he was too excited and he got a little too ahead of himself and he picked up an injury, couldn't start. And Togan Hazard came in for him and he was brilliant in the game. 
he was brilliant. Rafa Guerrero, definitely the man of the match. First time he scored in a Bundesliga brace. But all in all, Lucien Favre and his boys look good. They look like they just, they, they, they never took a two-month break and they're just picking up where they left off. And I have to say that it has to be the most talented team that won the game. You know what I'm saying? It's like footballers who has to work very, very hard at their game to be good would struggle. Would struggle coming back from a two-month break. But the naturally gifted, the technically gifted, the guys with the talent could just pick up a ball after a long layoff and they are the ones who are going to shine. And that's what Dortmund did today. It, 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 was, it was very, very impressive. Hopefully, they can continue this form and they could challenge for the title because Dortmund, they, they are a team that always, always, man, they, they, they always mess with people's emotions. People get excited. They like the way they play. And then they just flop. Let's just use the word. They just fall off and they flop and they come in second and third. So that was one game that I actually saw. I did see the Frankfurt versus Mönchengladbach match. I'll talk about this after I run through these other fixtures. Leipzig won. Freiburg won. Leipzig with the late goal in the 77th minute. The equalizer by Yusuf Paulsen. But Manuel Gulder scored early for Freiburg. So Freiburg almost picked up a, a very, very valuable three-point on the road. I will run through the league table when I'm done going through these fixtures. Hoffenheim lost three goals to nil at home to Hertha Berlin. So it, it comes back to where I said the, the team with the, the more talented guys. Because when you look at the score sheet, I did not watch this game. You see Matthias Cunha, former... RB Leipzig player and he's the Brazilian and he's very very gifted he scored in the 74th minute in the 60th minute Vedat Ibisevic with the goal and a 58 minute own goal by Kevin Okpanguma Hoffenheim not a good start after the you know Bundesliga restart there so they will need to get their act together so for Dusseldorf and Paderborn those two teams played to a stalemate it was a nil nil draw Augsburg lost one goal to nil at home to Wolfsburg. In this game, Wolfsburg scored first. Renato Steffen in the first first half, 40, 43rd minute in the first half. And then Tinyad by the Croatian equalized in the 54th minute. So they came back into the game. But late, very, very late, the last minute of the match, Daniel Ginchek scored and gave Wolfsburg the win. So... They should be very, very happy about that. The late match. Frankfurt 1, Mönchengladbach 3. I actually listened to most of this match because I was at work and I got caught up in something. I thought I was done with my work since like 9 o'clock my time. But guys, something else was leaking and I had to like, you know, disassemble it and put it back up, you know, together and everything while listening to this game. I did get to see one or two of the goals. But all in all, I listen to the commentary. It's fine to do that as well. So, in this game, Mönchengladbach scored very early in the first minute to Alessand Player, the Frenchman. The Frenchman? That didn't come out too well at all. But, Player scored in the first minute. It looked like a cross, but it went in and ended up scoring. And that was that. Very, very good start. Frankfurt, as I said, guys, teams are picking up where they left off. Gladbach, they were doing very well before the break. Frankfurt weren't doing so well before the break. Lost in the Europa League to Basel, if I can recall. And they weren't doing so well in the league at all. So to concede in the first minute, not very good. Then Marcus Turam scored six minutes later. So two Frenchmen on the score sheet. Frankfurt 2-0 down. Then in the 73rd minute, Rami Bensebiani, the Algerian left back, Dispatched the penalty after Brill and Bolo was brought down in the box. And Andre Silva, the Portuguese forward, came on as a substitute to pick up a consolation goal for Frankfurt. Gladbach could have scored more. Frankfurt had a few chances as well. But it ended up 3-1 in favor of the visitors. One of the highlights of this game I could remember, Alisson player hitting the post. And then Hinteregger, the big Frankfurt defender, Clearing 
Hoffman shot off the line. Hoffman should have scored that, but you know, you got to give credit to the defender there. So those are some very, very exciting fixtures we had today. So in tomorrow's match, it's Sunday the 17th, guys. We'll see Cone taking on Mainz. Union Berlin taking on Bayern Munich, the team that I chose to follow. I did a random draw, and I picked Bayern Munich. I don't know how it happened. Bayern, lucky, man. They're very, very lucky. They, you know, they, they, they're lucky to, to, to win the league every year. I'm not saying it's just luck. It's just that the other teams fall by the wayside, but I don't know how I end up picking Bayern Munich to follow. So I'll be watching that game tomorrow for sure. I'm going to try to watch the Cone Mines match as well. Then on Monday, Bremen play Leverkusen, and that is 2.30 my time. So all those games, I have to tune in. I'm trying to watch as many fo football matches as possible. If I could even go back and watch some of these matches, I will. I definitely will. But if I have to give predictions for tomorrow's games, guys, Cone versus Mines, guys, I'm going to go for Mines in this one. Union Berlin versus Bayern. I think Bayern Munich are going to win this one. And for the Bremen-Leverkusen match, I think that one is going to end in a draw. Guys, I want to know your predictions in the comment section down below. I'll come back tomorrow to do a recap of those matches. But before I go, let's talk about the table a bit. Let's talk about the table real quick because it don't make sense talking about the matches today and not just running through the table real quick. So Bayern, they're on top. After 25 matches, they have 55 points with a goal difference of plus 47. Dortmund are in second. They play one match more. They have 54 points. They have a goal difference of plus 39. Gladbach third, 52 points after 26 matches. They picked up a win today, of course. They have a plus 21 goal difference. Leipzig, they are currently in fourth position. They actually dropped to fourth. After today's result, which was a draw, they have 51 points. They have a plus 36 goal difference. Wolfsburg, they actually go up in the table today. And they are in sixth on 39 points with a plus 5 goal difference. Well, well, I actually just skipped Leverkusen. Leverkusen are fifth, guys. Wolfsburg are sixth. <laughs> oh, my goodness. So, let me do that over. Leverkusen, fifth. 47 points after 25 matches. And in sixth, Wolfsburg, after 26 matches, they have 39 points. So there's a big gap there, an eight point gap between fifth and sixth. Freiburg, they're seven. They have been quite impressive. They're just outside a Europa League spot there. And they, after 26 matches, they have 37 points. So they're doing pretty well. Schalke, who dropped. A lot today. They're currently 8th in the table. 26 matches. 37 points. Hoffenheim. They, they didn't move. They're 26. After, they're actually ninth. 26 matches. 35 matches played. Guys, you can tell I haven't, re I haven't done a match review in so long. I'm a bit rusty. Cone and Tent. 25 matches. 32 points. Union. No, not Union Berlin. Hertha Berlin, they're in 11th, 31 points after 26 matches. And, okay, I actually pressed something there, but I'll go back. All right, bear with me, guys. Bear with me. But in 12th is Union Berlin. I'm looking forward for the Berlin Derby. I think that one is coming up pretty soon, I think. It, it is, right? It's coming up pretty soon. That's That will be one to watch. They're actually 12th on 30 points after 25 matches. Frankfurt, 13th, 28, match, 28 points after 25 matches. Augsburg, 14th, 26 matches, 27 points. And Mainz, they're actually 15th, 25 matches, 26 points. And in the relegation spots, Dusseldorf in the playoff spot, 23 points after 26 matches. Bremen, 17th. 18 points after 24 games. They have actually a couple games to catch up on. And Paderborn at the bottom, 17 points, 26 matches. So if you look at the table in terms of relegation, Paderborn and Bremen, they have a lot of work to do because they have they Bremen have two matches in hand to, to dust it off. 
So they have they have to win. They have to win. But Paderborn, they look like they're in a lot, a lot of trouble. But Dusseldorf, Bremen, even Mainz, Augsburg, Frankfurt, these teams are in a lot of trouble. Definitely. Union Berlin, I think they recently got promoted. They're doing pretty well to be in 12th position on 30 points. Hertha, Cone, Cone who just came up. These teams are pretty safe. Hoffenheim, pretty safe in my opinion. At the top, guys. At the top. Bayern Munich, Dortmund, Gladbach, Leipzig, Leverkusen. Guys, title race is on. Let me know who you think will win this season's Bundesliga in the comment section down below. I hope there's no hiccups. I hope there's, you know, nothing stops the remainder of the season and we could just finish off this, you know, Bundesliga season, the Premier League season, the Serie A season, La Liga, or whichever league you watch. I want the football seasons to be complete and we could get back to normal things. You know what I'm saying? I'm just fed up with this whole coronavirus BS, guys. But I got some Chinese food here. I have to go and eat. I haven't had Chinese food in two months. I got to go and eat that and, you know, get this video up to you guys. So thank you very much for watching. I know I made a few mistakes here and there, but it's fine. I'm only human. You guys should definitely understand. I just have to. I, I couldn't go. Guys, I couldn't go without talking about these matches today. And I'll be back tomorrow. And I'll be back Monday to do some more. So, I'm your boy Dominic Rich. If you're new around here, consider hitting the subscribe button. Smash the thumbs up button. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Guys, check out cardsplug.com slash Dominic Rich FC to get yourself one of those lovely cards over there. Use a the coupon code Dominic Rich FC to get yourself 15% off your order. Trust me, you will never regret getting one of those cards. So, from your boy Dominic Rich, until next time, peace out. Rich Squad. Damn, 17 minutes. I think I did okay. I think I did okay. But I'll get better.